What's up guys, how you doing? And uh, today, in this video, I'd like to discuss the um, potential return of two fellow Asgardians. Well, one fellow Asgardian and Guardian, and one eh, not so much fellow and not so much Guardian either. Um, it's been long since reported that, you know, since Loki has his series, that it's entirely possible that he will make a return into the MCU. So his whole series is going to be centered around him with the Tesseract and following him through a series of events. I'm probably sure it's going to be like a um, Doctor Who style thing starring Loki. Um, that's, that's probably what it's going to be. Um, however, Tom Hiddleston, uh, I think, in the past, and many news reports hinted at the Loki series tying into Thor 4 Love and Thunder, maybe leading to a possible Loki return. But it turns out, he's not the only Asgardian that would like to make a comeback. Now, I'd like to make a reference to the shot that was End of Ragnarok, right? The, the group shot, okay? I should have it appear sometime now. Right, and this shot for me had so much potential. This is like another Guardians of the Galaxy. Think about it. You've got Thor, Heimdall, Korg, Valkyrie, Loki, and hell, even Meek. That makes for a pretty interesting team to get up to some very uncanny events and a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately... The biggest gripe I have with Ragnarok is they've done the Warriors 3 completely dirty and they just kind of disregarded them and just like, you know, just like that and forgot about them. That was uh, a bit of an issue with me. Um, personally, for me anyway, I feel it was a bit of a waste. We've still got Lady Sif out there, um, so I expect her to come back. I'm confident that Thor and Lady Jane or Mighty Thor, whatever you want to call her, I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the couple going forward and they're going to be doing the cancer storyline 100%. And I'm also sure that Valkyrie will have a love interest, maybe Lady Sif, just because the actress of Lady Sif has expressed interest in coming back and filling that role. But we also have one actor who played one of the fellow Asgardians, Idris Elba, wants to come back to the MCU and here's how it could happen. Now, Stuart, if you're watching, I know you'll agree. The design of um, <clears throat> Heimdall, Heimdall in the first two Thor films was absolutely badass. So, this comes from digitalspy.com. Let's give it a bit of a read and go through it. Idris Elba has now infiltrated two of the most successful movie franchises to date. He starred in the recent Fast and Furious spin-off Hobbs and Shaw as Brixton. Um, also, guys, comment down below. Don't you think it's a bit suspect that he was called Brixton? Like, the English black guy is called Brixton. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, and has long played the fan favorite Marvel god Heimdall in the Thor movies, as well as the Avengers movies. Spoilers in that, but unfortunately for Elba, both of these characters have now met their maker. Uh, yeah. Also, I've got a review on Hobbs and Shaw coming. I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, Statham and The Rock have great chemistry. Um, but if Marvel has taught us anything, it's that being dead doesn't really mean you're gone. Nope, we've seen with Coulson and others, although Quicksilver stayed dead. And if Elba has his way, Heimdall will return. He recently revealed he would of course want to return to the MCU. Who wouldn't? Listen, Heim- uh, okay, so we've got a quote here. Open quote. Listen, Heimdall is part of the God family, so you know, he essentially could be alive. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Close quote. I've got a nice picture of Idris with his thumbs up. It says, this high, uh, the Heimdall character goes way back into, you know, the Thor mythology, and I'm sure that he'll be an interesting way to, uh, there'll be an interesting way to bring that alive. Of course I would. Yes, he added. Heimdall wasn't one of the lucky Marvel characters to be snapped and return. Unfortunately not. He was stabbed through the heart by Thanos, which tends to result in death. Uh, yep. However, between the comic books and the upcoming Loki Disney Plus Marvel show, the world is rife with possibilities of how to bring Heimdall back. Loki on TV. Already set up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the possibility of a 2012 Heimdall returning. Avengers Endgame saw that uh, to that when Loki escaped uh, with the Space Stone. 
There is every possibility that 2012 Loki, armed with the Space Stone, goes back to Asgard and somehow recruits Heimdall into whatever shenanigans the Trickster God has planned. You know what? That could make for a lot of fun. If you add Idris Elba to the Loki show, you know, him and Tom Hiddleston, that, that's an underrated pairing, I think. I think that could actually really work wonders. Um, that could be pretty hilarious. Though this would mean Elba's return as Heimdall would be in the Disney Plus series, it doesn't preclude him from returning in future movies. If, as Endgame writer Stephen McFreely said, the time travelling resulted in two Captain Americas in the same timeline, there may very well be two Heimdalls in the same timeline, which becomes one when Heimdall is killed in Infinity War in 2018. The Space Stone is housed inside the Tesseract, and with that, Loki and Heimdall could travel through universes. Hello, multiverse. Hello, Heimdall, who literally builds bridges between realities. You see, they, ta they take a character and they give him a, sh a lot of shine. They could really give Heimdall a lot of development with this. And with Idris Elba being hot property right now in terms of his status within Hollywood, I uh, wouldn't put it past them to actually do that. New Orleans. Oh, I know about this story. Another less likely but not impossible way for Heimdall to return has its basis in the comics first as a man named Donald Velez, then as a man named Ezra. Both comic plots bear striking similarities to the plot of Thor Ragnarok. In 1997's Journey into the Mystery, number 506, Odin casts the Asgardians down to Earth, disguised as mortals to protect them from a false Ragnarok, and Heimdall becomes Donald Velez. But then there's the real Ragnarok brought to Asgard by Loki. He destroys the Bifrost and kills Heimdall. Or so we thought. Huh, that could be a nice little spin from the comics. Not comic accurate and it would be quite fun. After Thor finally ends the cycle of Ragnarok, Heimdall is reborn on Earth in the body of a mortal being named Ezra, a New Orleans native. Thor finds him there and returns him to Asgardian form. There's a nice good picture there. So, with plenty of these details already worked into Thor Ragnarok, where they might fit in the MCU, Thor, Love and Thunder, of course. In comic books The Mighty Thor Volumes 1 and 2, Heimdall is protecting Asgard's new ruler, the All-Mother. In the movie, however, this new ruler will likely be Valkyrie, since Thor passed his crown to her at the end of Endgame. But Odin, presumed dead, returns with a familiar face, Jane Foster, aka Mighty Thor, which brings us to Thor, Love and Thunder. So, I'm sure that Odin will appear before her as she's passing. Uh, if, and this is a big if, Thor is off with the Guardians of the Galaxy as he was at the end of Endgame, he might find Heimdall aka Ezra wandering around New Orleans and thus Ilva would return to the big screen as Heimdall. So we figured it out folks, now to let Kevin Feige know. That is a very very good way and theory on how it could actually happen. Because let's be real here, uh, Heimdall had great moments in the Thor movies, but there weren't many. There was only, like, scenes, like, key scenes. So when Loki freezes him, and he unfreezes himself by, you know, yelling and screaming, um, and then him taking down the ships in Dark World, he got a lot to do more, in, a lot more to do in Ragnarok, but, you know, as I said, that final shot of Ragnarok, like, that team, that group of people could make for a really fun movie, and um, I, you know, I think we've got to put things into perspective. And I'm going to do a Thor Love and Thunder video talking a little bit more about my feelings towards the film. But here it is for that. Chris Hemsworth, he's a draw. Natalie Portman, kind of a draw. Um, Valkyrie, kind of a draw. You throw Heimdall and Loki back in the mix, you're definitely going to be dragging in a lot more of a draw. Um... It wouldn't surprise me if that might have been where Taika Waititi was actually going to take it the first time round. I hope I said his name right, by the way. It wouldn't surprise me if that was where he was going to go the first time round. If if he had the decision. If, if Infinity War wasn't a thing, that might have been the decision. Um, and it still can be. Um, people are worried about whether Chris Hemsworth is going to leave the role of Thor. I do not think he will. I think him and, uh, you know... He's in a state of rebuilding himself and rediscovering himself, in a way. Not like these weirdos on Twitter think. Um, he's just rediscovering his um, confidence and faith within himself. So, what will happen is, him and uh, Jane Foster, they'll just become Thor together. Like, And then, I'm sorry for all these people that say Captain Marvel's stronger than Thor. Not anymore. You know, when you throw both Thors at her. 
Um, and then Valkyrie will remain on new Asgard. Heimdall will be like um, the guardian as he always is, you know, the gatekeeper. Because Heimdall is too much of a perfect character to kind of throw away. And I think it was a wasted moment in Endgame to not have Heimdall make an appearance. That was a wasted chance. They should have definitely at least had a deleted scene where Heimdall was like, you know, I see everything. You think I couldn't see you? Um, from the future. And he's like, whatever future awaits me is my destiny. Something like that. You know, they could have made it a bit more of an emotional uh, impact kind of thing. Um, but... As far as Loki and Heimdall coming, I mean, we definitely know for sure that Loki would play into Thor Love and Thunder. And I would like to bet, and I would also like to believe, that he is Noob Master. I know there's a rumor going around that it might be Deadpool, and that would be the perfect way to introduce Deadpool into the MCU. But if it's Loki just trolling Thor, then I'm not against it. Um, and having Heimdall in the mix would be a lot of fun. So guys, comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this. Would you be up for a Loki and Heimdall return into the main movies? I for sure would. Because the Thor films, as much as they're cool, character development isn't really uh, strong with them. If I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. Especially with the... It's strong for Thor. 100%, but in terms of secondary characters or tertiary characters, it's kind of next to non-existent. And with, you know, Tom Hiddleston and Idris Elba having the star power they have, I think it would be a good business incentive to put them in Thor 4, and then once Thor 4 is done, have Thor go on a little uh, journey with the Guardians of the Galaxy, then return for Thor 5, um, and, you know, if Chris Hemsworth wants to stay as long as possible, keep him as long as possible, you know? Make him run for some more movies. See how far you can go with him. Maybe he could be the first of the original six to go to six films. Because the way I would do it is have Jane Foster introduced as Thor, um, start the film out with, like, Odin talking to her and granting her the power of Thor with a different Mjolnir and, or something like that. Um, introduce Beta Ray Bill in the film. That's a must. That is a must. Um, have Valkyrie, you know, show how she's, you know, taking up the leadership role and all that. Um, obviously, bringing Loki and Heimdall back isn't, it isn't essential, but it would really boost the film up a lot more, because Ragnarok, for me, whether you like the film or hate it, is the peak of the four films. So if you do this, you might actually surpass that. So, please listen to the fans on this one. We've lost Spider-Man. You know, come on, grant us this. Grant us this at the very least. Um, and yeah, you could take it in so many places. And by the sixth film, you could have Jane Foster actually die. You could have her die by by cancer finally getting her. You know, it's because each one of the um, main characters' films are spaced out three years. So you have four, Thor 4 uh, next year or the year after. Then you have another three years. Then another three years. And... In between that time, that's in between different phases. So you can have Jane Foster a, a cameo in other movies. Um, and then when it's her time to, to go, it's her time to go. You know, it's um, they could really make it quite an emotional story. And then on the sixth film, you know, really tug at the heartstrings and, you know, give Thor and Jane the proper send off. You know, still keep Thor around if Hemsworth wants to continue, but have Jane pass on, you know. But at least Thor got to kick ass with the woman he loved, you know, and you, you know, everyone's worried that she's going to be paired up with Valkyrie, I don't want to sound like I know everything, I don't think they'll do that, especially if you judge how Endgame was, the way it seemed like he wasn't over her, um, the deleted scene with Jane waking up from the bed, it, 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 it screams to me that they're going to do whatever they can to bring their story full circle. So I'm sure Valkyrie will get someone else, maybe Captain Marvel or, or something. I, I, I don't know. You've got your queen. Uh, well, crap, I'm not endorsed by these guys, by the way. But yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know. Would you be excited to see Loki and Heimdall return into the Thor movies? Would you like to see Heimdall accompany Loki on his journey in this series? Because a Loki series, as fun as it sounds, you need something a bit more just to ramp it up a bit so if you throw Heimdall into the mix you know Tom Hiddleston Idris Elba that that's a buddy cop movie and I also forgot to mention that our dear goddess of death has also expressed interest in returning and reprising her role as Hela so maybe we will see her again I'm not too sure but 
to be honest with you, that one, hmm, her movie was uh, kind of contained for me. You know, if you bring her back, it's pure fan service. There's no real story element to it. But you never know. Maybe with the time traveling Loki series, maybe we could find a way to have her return. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a massive thumbs up. Comment down below if there's any videos you want me to do or any news you want me to cover. And I will talk to you in another video soon. I was going to say may the force be with you, but instead I'll, be, I'll just be saying uh, for Asgard. Smash the like button for Asgard.